index and ring finger length. Measuring the length of your index finger and comparing it to the length of your ring finger, a test called the D2-D4 ratio, is one of the key measurements used to determine your genotype. A seemingly trivial detail, comparing the length of your index finger to the length of your ring finger, can tell you something about the level of hormone stimulation that you received while still in the womb. Research indicates that people with longer ring fingers were exposed to higher levels of androgen-type hormones, such as testosterone. People with longer index fingers appear to have developed with higher levels of estrogen. These prenatal hormone influences affect cell function in the body continuously throughout life. Let's go through this step by step. Performing this measurement requires a small, rigid ruler. Place the ruler between the index finger and middle finger of your right hand and calculate the length from the crease to the top of the finger. Record this result. Next, place the ruler between the middle finger and ring finger of your right hand and measure from the crease to the top of the finger. Record this result. Now, repeat this measurement on your left hand and record those results. There are three possible outcomes for this measurement. One, your index fingers are longer than your ring fingers on both hands. Two, your ring fingers are longer than your index fingers on both hands. Or three, each hand is different. Equal measurements or ties always go to the index finger. So if an index finger and ring finger are the same length, record the index finger as being the longer finger. Finger length ratios are used in every calculator, so it is important to do the measurements correctly to ensure that you can have the most accurate results. To read more about the D2-D4 ratio, consult pages 35 to 36 in the Genotype Diet book.